Hi, welcome to uh, Greed New. Uh, hi, and welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be probably doing um, maybe making some cold frames in the greenhouse so I could sprout some carrots. Um, right now, it's in like about January, uh, early January. Um, I want to get uh, some vegetables growing in this greenhouse. Um, and today will be kind of like a, I guess, a tour video also, um, and kind of how. This video whole, this uh, whole um, greenhouse got constructed and everything like that. So uh, bear with me. Uh, it's just like a, just starting this stuff, this video making and stuff like that. So it's kind of a little awkward. Um, I'm trying to get the hang of it, but I know I'll probably get better at it as I go, uh, as I get experience and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, Elohim willing, uh, you know, today's video will, uh, you know be formed and uh completed so we'll see uh what happens stay tuned but uh, these two um glass paneling these uh glass windows um i had them lying around uh we're currently not using them it's for one of the uh storm doors that we kind of have in our uh chicken coop area so we're not really using that uh currently so these look like they're roughly about the same size as the beds, I think this one over here is just a little bit too small. Um, the the bed the bed is too wide for these um, uh, panelings. Uh, this one is a little bit shorter, so I might just swap out one of these uh, with that one. Um, I got spinach growing under there, and uh, so it's prodded pretty nicely these past couple of weeks. Um, you know, it's been doing pretty good under that cold frame. I didn't have, um, you know, a box or anything like that. I kind of wanted to leave it, uh, let it breathe and stuff like that. And plus it's spinach. So it doesn't really need a lot of, uh, it doesn't need a lot of, uh, you know, it, it's not going to over freeze. I just kind of wanted to give it a little extra boost. So since I had that little piece of glass lying around, I found these two. So now I'm looking to kind of make it a little bit bigger, kind of expand it a little. Um, so I could, um, probably plant some carrots. Um, we really like our carrots and, and if, uh, if, uh, it works out, we'll be all right. And, uh, so we got in the greenhouse, there isn't really much, um, kind of procrastination, uh, other things going around on the farm. You know, I didn't really have time to kind of, uh, devote my time to all of this uh, work in the greenhouse, um, but now I'll probably have a little more time and, and uh, I'll be doing this a lot more. So uh, we got like a little compost pile going over here. Um, that was for uh, like experimental purposes. Um, I throw out all the scraps and stuff like that on it too. But I put manure and some wood chips and some other things uh, in it to try and start cooking. Um, I thought that maybe it would heat up the greenhouse a little bit. Uh, heated for a little while. Um, I haven't been mixing it or anything like that. So it seems like it's just kind of, uh, um, it kind of stopped cooking already. So now all I got is like a little bit of spinach. Your Swiss chard is just kind of coming out like that and... And then we got uh, Leek. Leek, uh, surprisingly, is doing pretty good um, handling the frost and stuff that we've had. Uh, spinach is growing okay. Um, you know, I didn't plant as much as um, as I would want. But, you know, it'll just, uh, you know, I'll expand. And that's why I kind of planted some more over here. Um, I got a lot of empty spaces. So there's, you know, a lot of things that I want to start planting. Um, I'm going to think about maybe growing some things indoors, uh, maybe some sprouting some stuff. Um, I got a heat mat, mat and stuff like that. So, and then I got like growing trays and, and stuff like that. And I got a whole bunch of seeds, uh, the water tanks, I filled them up with water. Um, I did it last year and they kind of like stuck around. Uh, they kind of stayed. I never, never took them out. Uh, I filled them with water. And I painted the tanks black, and they did a pretty decent job uh, keeping the greenhouse uh, from freezing at night. Uh, it's just for the amount of square footage in this greenhouse, it kind of needs a little bit more um, water 
Um, I think it was like three gallons of water for every square foot of greenhouse. So um, I didn't have enough gallons. So I just kind of, uh, it kind of stuck. You just kept here. I just kept it in here. And uh, I got a, you know, a big, the big water tank. The tote um, is my like watering can, I guess you could say. I made like a uh, reduction and uh, kind of a whole bunch of different little connections and thingies and and then a reduction to a hose uh just a rubber hose and then on the end i put just a regular watering can thing uh from water can and then i just uh turn it on and then it just you know flows it does pretty uh nice job watering everything i just have to keep the levels up high in the in the water um, in order to keep it all from, uh, you know, uh, to be the right height, because if I like walk around at my height spraying stuff, if it's not, uh, high enough in the tank, then I'm kind of, uh, I got to bend over and stuff like that, but it has been doing a great job so far. Uh, I got to probably shorten the hose cause it's just a little too long. Um, I could take you outside of the greenhouse to just, uh, take a tour of the outside. This is, uh, the outside of the greenhouse. Um, I plant, uh, flowers and stuff like that on the outside to maybe, in, you know, promote, uh, bees from, you know, to come in. You know, I lift up, uh, this side of the plastic during summer and it does a pretty well, uh, job of, you know, allowing uh, good airflow and stuff in. And, uh, you know, back here is kind of like an area that I have to be working on. Uh, I have, uh, I have to pretty much like even this all out. Um, and I'm planning on putting some growing beds over here. Um, uh, maybe to put some salad, grow some salads, um, stuff like that. And, uh, that's the back of the greenhouse. I have a little window, um, that opens, that uh, allows a little bit of uh, fresh air to come in. I usually put a fan in um, uh, through the opening to increase more airflow. But uh, last year I didn't really have to use it that much or need it because uh, I left that uh, side part open and that did pretty well. And I didn't really have to use a fan for, for all that. And uh, I got like uh, gooseberries, um, raspberries growing over here on this, in between the fence and this. You know, we have uh, Miranda and Lily uh, just chilling. All right. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, so far. So uh, I'm going to try and get to um, working on those uh, cold frames and um, we'll see how it works out. Alrighty, so um, I found a 2x4 outside, used that to put that up against like that. I put the two glass panelings that I had, um, and I just put them onto the frame itself. And so we'll see when we have things planted in here, if it'll keep it warmer. I think maybe I'll try to cover maybe one side with a board um this is like a temporary setup type thing i just want them to sprout just get them to grow uh you know a little bit bigger and then i could just move remove it if i if i need to um just like i did with the spinach over here this is you know it's already fairly big enough so that i could already on um you know to take it out and it looks like i had um i had a whole bunch of fennel uh, growing in this area the this last season and uh, look I guess a whole bunch sprouted up underneath with uh, spinach um, it looks like it's doing a little bit like uh, worse for wear because of the freezing temperatures and stuff like that but um, it's really cool that uh, it sprouted up and they taste delicious all right, so I guess now I'll uh, get this thing all set up, the, the, the ground, uh, and then I guess plant and, and water it, and 
we'll see from there. Alrighty. Well, uh, I watered this whole entire area where I'm going to be putting those uh, glass panels. Um, and it looks like, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing how hydrophobic um, the ground can be when uh, when you put water on it. I haven't watered this area in a long time, so it's going to be really dry. Um, it's just really cool to see how hydrophobic everything is. Um, so I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep watering this area. And then I thought about it and I think I'm not going to plant today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to water this really well. And then once it's watered, I'm going to put that uh, glass on. And then I'll wait a week or two, uh, keep it wet. And then uh, if any weeds or any other things come up uh, within a week or two, uh, sprout up. I could just uh, take that out or keep whatever I want to keep that sprouts up because I think I had uh, I had tomatoes and a whole bunch of other things that uh, came out here so uh, that were planted in this area. So more than likely, there's probably going to be like sprout uh, sprouts from from tomatoes and stuff like that. And it's too cold for tomatoes, so you know I'm going to have to rip them out. Um, and then uh, anything that has wanted, unwanted, you know. I just uh, let it grow up, um, just like uh, the parable of the wheat and the tares. So, you know, just uh, keep the good, take out the bad once uh, harvest is ready. So, I'm not going to wait until harvest, but I'll uh, probably do it a little bit sooner. But it's just an easier way to kind of figure out so that um, I don't plant carrots and then a whole bunch of other weeds come out um, with it. And it's just, uh, you know, it's just a nuisance. And, you know, you got to do it right. All right, I think it's uh, that's it for the video. Um, I'm truly thankful to Yahweh and, and uh, you know, his son. It's just, he's he's given us so much more than I could ever deserve. And, and, and it's... It's an amazing thing to see, um, you know, the way that he creates everything. Um, I really appreciate uh, anyone that stumbles across my videos. Um, I don't believe that's by chance. Um, thank you. Um, you know, Elohim willing that we have like a lot of more plans, uh, a lot more things to do on the farm. And I'm really excited uh, to, you know, document it. And kind of have this, and not only for my family, as kind of just uh, something we can look back at um, in the in the future, but also you know uh, just being a light in in a dark world. Um, you know, I've I've seen things in my life that you know just it's just in one. I don't know how to explain it, but I think I'll get better in future videos. On explaining all this stuff um, you know I just uh, there's a lot when there's a lot of stuff that goes into you allowing the Holy Spirit to kind of guide um, you know like uh, our lives and stuff like that and sometimes uh, we could get mixed up with maybe you know the flesh doing it and not um, you know the father so it's uh it's it's a working progress you know we're supposed to um you know become image bearers of Christ so it's 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 a process it's sanctification um you know I ain't perfect um no one is you know just Jesus is and um Yeshua um you'll see me you know using Yeshua and in, in in instead of Jesus and I'll uh, do more videos. Um, and same thing with uh, the Father in Heaven, Yahweh, um, Elohim. Um, I use these words uh, a lot more often now. Um, now knowing the significance of how important they are to use. So um, I'm, you know, this is just, uh, it's a learning process. Everybody, 
you know, make mis makes mistakes. Everybody is, um, you know, on their own um, walk um, to sanctification, to becoming an image bearer of Christ. And, um, you know, I just, I pray and hope that, you know, I don't uh, mislead people with any of my videos. And, and if I make mistakes and stuff like that, please, you know, um, call me out on it. Um, I'm one not to be very easily offended. Um, I, I truly want to become a better person. And if a person, you know, in the comment section, you know, if you see something that, I, you know, that I personally am uh, doing wrong or misleading people. Um, if, if you have constructive criticism, um, like it on a, from a biblical basis, because I, I follow that the Bible, God's word is, is my final authority. So anything that does not coincide with scripture, I uh, do not hold, um, you know, uh, very strong towards it. Um, and, you know, I try to have the Holy Spirit convict me and, and, and guide me as, as much as I can um, so that, you know, I become a better image bearer of Him. And I'm excited to document, you know, my walk from right now to where I'm going to be because the Lord has transformed my life in, in just so many beautiful ways and I have um, lots of things um, that have been on my mind and um, you know the Lord you know the Father has been putting it on my heart uh, for quite a while to just document it um, just put it out there and and then he'll do the rest of just having people somehow stumble across it on YouTube and and then you know maybe potentially benefit them in some way and so you know I know that I'm gonna make mistakes I'm a fallible man I'm you know I have a, a, a sinful flesh I, I still live with the flesh that's sinful and um, you know I know it has no authority over me anymore but I still, um, you know, have my trials, my tribulations, my temptations and my flaws. And, and, uh, I'm truly grateful to the father that, uh, you know, he's, he's done so much in the past few months for me. Uh, he's transformed me, you know, just, he's been chiseling away at all my, uh, imperfections. And, um, and I have, uh, you know, and I would love to, you know, I can't wait uh, to see what he has in store for 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 me and, and, and my family. Um, and it's going to be cool to have it all documented and stuff like that. You know, I don't want to make my videos too long, but, you know, I'm not, um, you know, if the spirit puts it on my heart to just speak and, and just make a video as long as I need to, I will. You know, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to try and conform to what people want and like. Um, it's what the Father wants. And I know that it's sometimes going to, you know, uh, upset people and stuff like that. But I want to do this uh, channel, you know, in the most loving um, way that I possibly can. I, I do not want to hurt anybody. I don't want to, uh, you know, if there is any, um, you know... Um, you, you know questions and some objections of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it you know I would uh, definitely hear you out uh, in a loving manner and um, try to come to a conclusion or an understanding about it um, because I know that we all have a lot of truth to share um, and we want to share it because, um, you know, and, but sometimes that truth that we think is truth, um, isn't necessarily the truth of God, the uh, scripture, you know, uh, the father, Yahweh. And so I just wanted to, you know, share this little section of video, um, because, uh, I just, it's just been put on my heart, um, 
So thank you. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, it's thank you. I'm truly humbled and I really appreciate it. May Yahweh bless you and your families. Peace.